Uh, Mark, uh, the Greens and Labor, particularly Labor particularly, talk very big game about how more women need to be promoted, how they must be treated with dignity, how the sexist Liberals have made even Parliament toxic for women. Can you ex please explain, therefore, why two Labor New South Wales politicians, Peter Primrose and Anthony Dadham, were yelling this week at a Liberal woman, Natasha McLaren. Here's Primrose off camera. You can hear him. I call this House to order and I ask the Honourable Peter Primrose to resume his seat immediately. No. What are you going to do? Order. What are you going to do? You're not I'm elected. trying to give the call to your leader. Hey. Take your seat. The president. The former president. Order. You are not the president. Order. You are bringing this House into order. Mark, they didn't just yell at that woman, did they? What else did they do? Well, the physicality of their gestures and the attempt at intimidation from both Primrose and, and subsequently Adam was off the radar. You know, a Andrew, I, I've served in all three levels of government. I've seen stouches at local councils. I've seen them in the federal parliament. But nothing like this. Um, this was an attempt to intimidate and to shout down uh, a woman, a, a Liberal Conservative, uh, who had won the ballot twice and did belong in the chair. Um, and, and quite frankly, uh, if in our chamber the domestic laws of New South Wales applied, uh, domestic violence laws, probably the police would have been called and, and someone would have been charged for intimidation. You know, there is a law against intimidation in New South Wales. And as I saw it, sitting at close quarters in that chamber, there was an attempt by two Labor left-wing men to uh, intimidate uh, verbally and physically the uh, conservative woman who was trying to assume the chair. And uh, you've got to ask the question, where's the ABC? Where's the ABC that ran a three-month campaign in Canberra about the treatment of women, respect for women, changing parliamentary culture? And where's the Labor leader in New South Wales, Jodie McKay, who's also spoken out about this, to say what who, her two men did to Natasha McLaren Jones, completely unacceptable, shouldn't happen again, and a sign of toxic culture towards women inside the New South Wales Labor Party. Too true. Mark, uh, talking about bastardry, Malcolm Turnbull is again showing he can't forgive the Liberals for dumping his Prime Minister after he lost nearly uh, well, every election, every opinion poll for two years. His again campaign against the coalition, this time against the national candidate, has posted at least 10 tweets I counted backing an anti-coal uh, anti -coal mining independent in the New South Wales by-election for Upper Hunter that the Berejiklian government is actually desperate to win. I mean, how much more treachery does Turnbull have to commit before the Liberals sack him from the party? Well, for Malcolm Turnbull, it's an endless uh, journey seeking revenge. And I, I think the relevant... Uh, incident in relation to the Upper Hunter by-election as Turnbull was uh, originally endorsed by the New South Wales Cabinet as their uh, climate chief for the remodelling of the Hunter Valley economy, which was basically mass unemployment because he was going to end the coal industry, which by his own estimate has 110,000 coal-reliant jobs in the Hunter Valley. And uh, he was turfed out, not because the Berejiklian government thought they'd done the wrong thing, but because the by-election meant that he was uh, political mm -hmm. poison. So having been turfed out uh, in, in a way that, boy, would have bruised his ego, I mean, Turnbull essentially wouldn't have recovered from that. And now his revenge, his attempt at revenge, is to endorse a very green independent who's got the same outlook as him, throw the workers out on the welfare scrap heap. They talk about building stuff in the Upper Hunter. Turnbull and, and his candidate would be building an endless series of Centrelink offices for the working people who've lost the dignity of employment. And uh, it's another example of revenge. But... You know, this candidate he's endorsing is also saying put the Berejiklian uh, candidate last. So it is an act uh, of bastardry designed to hurt Incredible. the coalition government in New South Wales. And if Malcolm Turnbull was successful, they're driven into minority government. Shades of how uh, uh, Kevin Rudd, his yep. soulmate Kevin Rudd, sabotaged Labor's 2010 campaign and put them in minority government in Canberra. So uh, Rudd and Turnbull, yeah, the well... twin wreckers. Well, Berejiklian's uh, and the, the faction there, they're the ones that have been supporting Turnbull. Now they cop it too. Uh, Mark, you actually had a big win on uh, coal mines this week, but I'm afraid I've run out of time, so I hope to uh, talk to you or someone else about it well, very shortly. Well, to save the steel Thank industry you. in New South Wales, uh, Dendrobium and the Illawarra, coal mines can still be approved and one nation played a role.